Hello learners! Today, we're going to create our own color wheel. A color wheel shows the relationship between primary colors and secondary colors. This artwork is called Umbrella Color Wheel because we'll create a colorful umbrella in a rainy day. Are you ready? Let's begin! Pause the video if you need more time to finish the steps. Let's begin by folding our Oslo paper in half. For this artwork, we're only going to use half of your Oslo paper. You may fold or cut it. Using your pencil, draw a circle at the middle of your paper. Then, trace it with a marker. You may also use an object with a round shape and trace it in your paper. Here I'm using a masking tape, tracing it with a pencil, and then with a marker. Next is we're going to divide our circle into different parts. Start by drawing a vertical line at the center of your circle, and then draw an X mark to create six parts. You may also use a ruler to make it straight. Make sure that you're going to divide the circle into six parts. Then, trace it with a marker. Next is we're going to draw the person holding the umbrella, which is you! Now, if you're a girl, you can draw a dress using diagonal lines and close it with a horizontal line. And for the legs, also draw two vertical lines for each leg. So if you're a boy, draw two vertical lines for your shirt. Next is we're going to draw your shorts using two diagonal lines and then close it with a horizontal line. Finishing it with a vertical line at the center. You can also draw your legs using two vertical lines for each leg. A color wheel has three primary colors. So let's begin with the color red. Now you have to skip one space. And then for the next color, we're going to color it blue. Skip another space before you color the next part yellow. Now when you mix yellow and red, you're going to create the color orange. So we'll color the middle part orange. When you mix red and blue, you get purple. When you mix blue and yellow, you create green. Now it's time for you to color the rest of your artwork. Since it's a rainy day, we're going to use blue crayon to create vertical lines that shows raindrops. Once you're done, write down your name, take a photo of your work, and pass it through Eliza. Great job, everyone! I'll see you soon! Bye!